us. Let's talk about collagen. You know, collagen is the most abundant protein that is found in mammalian body. The most abundant protein. That means it is present in maximum amount in our body. And uh, this is a very, very important protein which makes uh, the different important structures of our body. For example, maintaining uh, the, the, the perfect skin. That is the very, very vital thing uh, related to aging, you know. Because as we old or as we get aged, right, during that time this collagen activity will drop and that become less elastic and all this. So collagen is present in almost all those type of structural units of our body and it is present and it is, it is the basic foundation of the largest organ of our body which is skin, right? So let's talk about collagen uh, a little bit more detail here. If you look at here, this is a protein which is, uh, which is composed of um, glycine and proline amino acid repeatedly present there. And uh, this is entirely kind of made up with alpha helix structure. So if you look at here, the basic uh, structure of uh, collagen is based on the structure called tropocollagen. So if you look at here, tropocollagen is nothing but uh, the spiral structure of three different chains, as you can see here. So all the N-terminal portion of that chain put in one direction, C-terminal regions put in other direction. So we produce this tropocollagen there. Now, many of these tropocollagens are there, right? Now, once the tropocollagen is present, it no longer can produce collagen or any structure because this is tropo and it is simply called as a pro-collagen because it is the early stage of collagen, inactive state of collagen. Now, we need to activate this collagen and this activation is brought about by a peptidase enzyme that is called pro-collagen peptidase. Now, this pro-collagen peptidase will cleave all those terminal region of uh, those collagen, pro-collagen molecule from the N-terminal end as well as from the C-terminal end. So, as, as it cleaves all those N-terminal and C-terminal part of this pro-collagen molecule, it converts the pro-collagen into 3000 angstrom long tropocollagen. So, this is now will be called as the tropocollagen or the base of collagen structure. Once we produce this tropocollagen, many of those tropocollagen will be arranged with each other. They will associate with each other and then they are converted into collagen fiber du during different interaction. So as you can see here, the base structure or the amino acid structure of this tropocollagen of the collagen fiber usually consists of glycine in repeated units. You know, glycine is the smallest kind of amino acid that can be present. And they also have proline, which is a very bulky R, uh, ring containing amino acid. Now, al arrangement of all those glycine and proline, you know, majorly glycine, which is generally not found in all the amino acid, uh, all the different other types of proteins. But glycine is present in this collagen, which is containing a huge part or making a huge part of the collagen fiber. And if you look at here, the thickness of the collagen is 15 angstrom. And many of the 3000 angstrom long tropocollagen uh, moieties will be arranged with each other to finally, you can see here the cross linking between them. They form different cross links between them and all those tropocollagen cross link will ultimately produce the very, very strong collagen fiber, right? And but the very important thing about collagen is that they maintain the terminality. That means, you know, polarity. That is one part is N terminal, other is a C terminal. So they maintain this terminal feature all down through through the all different stages of structural hierarchy. As you can see here, this cross link is formed and these cross links are called aldol histidine cross link because the cross linkage is actually conducted between the histidine amino acid that is present in the collagen backbone and this is due to the aldol condensation process. So, cross linking is done. After the cross link, we get what is called a very, very strong fiber called collagen. The picture is taken from Clug and Cummings concept from 1997. So, copyright goes to them. So, if you look at here, this is the structure of muscle. This is the structure of muscle and actually the entire muscle that we see is mainly made up with this type of collagen fiber and it is also present in skin and any many other regions of our body not only for human being but also for all the mammals and it is the most abundant protein in mammalian body so if you look at here a very important insight of the collagen that during the aging along with the aging in years the collagen content of the body goes down with time 
as we grow older the collagen content gets less and lesser in our body if you look at here you can see that uh, at the very beginning you know very earlier stage uh, at the young adults you can see the collagen is there filled you know 85 percent of of this of this middle layer of the skin that is that is that is uh, you know epidermis is the outer outer layer and in between the dermis region is filled with this 85 percent of the collagen and it is holding the structure together very firmly now as this woman gets older you can see the collagen structure disassemble as the collagen structures structures are kind of shattered and they start to start to uh, degrade and go away during that time the epidermis structure is slightly you know you can see that the structure of epidermis is getting lost and it is becoming wrinkled and as it is growing older and older further as you can see the huge breakdown due to the break, breakdown of the collagen because the percentage of collagen is also going less as well as the functionality of collagen is going away with time and it is becoming a very attractive woman into a wrinkled skin woman with time and no one can beat this even using uh, some of the new modern drugs you know for example uh, we can use uh, Botox to actually delay this process and help the collagen to revive the structure but still uh, collagen uh, is a most vital part there right so that's it guys and I hope that's helpful thank you